Well, every year, the City of Rochester's all-volunteer Black Heritage Committee organizes a number of vibrant events and free educational programs to celebrate African American culture and heritage in our community throughout the month of February and beyond. We're joined today by Leonard Merritt and Hazel Washington, co-vice chairs of the committee, and both have been hard at work these past few months pulling all of this together. So thank you so much for taking the time to stop in today. You're welcome. You're welcome. So for those that don't know, what is the Black Heritage Committee? Well, the Black Heritage Committee was established in 2001. It's a group of city employees, which are strictly volunteers. Mm -hmm and we work on events that highlight the richness of the African-American experience mm -hmm. and our culture. Mm -hmm. And Len, you've been on the committee for some time, and yeah. um, we actually have started in January with events. So you guys just finished a, a very nice event at City Hall, the 150 Ancestors Commemoration. Tell us about that. That's an event that uh, we worked on for about three years to mm -hmm. try to uh, bring into view those folks who have committed their lives and and talents to the african-american community mm -hmm. and what we've done is we've got about two hundred names and pictures and told a story of what they've done mm -hmm. that need to be shared in this community especially to our younger people right and we've got a beautiful plaque at city mm -hmm. hall with all of the names and a beautiful inscription from dr david anderson and hazel there's a book as well that goes along with this project, is that right? Yes, it is. Um, we'd like to thank our sponsors that helped contribute to the project. Um, the book is available for $5 in Room 100A, and mm -hmm. it has a list of um, the ancestors that we, mm -hmm. we honor, and um, there's some photographs and some background information right. on how they contributed to the richness of our community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And what, what is the theme for this year, and how do you set the theme for each year? Well, lately we've been going with the theme from the... The Association for the oh, Study yeah, of long. American really African American Life and History. National yeah. organization. Yes, national. it's a national okay. organization, okay. and the theme for this year is African Americans in Times of War. Wow. Okay. And so how does that relate to Rochester? How are you pulling in those themes into the events that you've planned? We, we have recommended a number of pioneers, mm -hmm. and part of the criteria is they would have served in the military, mm -hmm. and they would have to give back to the community. So we're honoring folks that have gone further and are volunteering and giving back to the African American community. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite um, events during Black Heritage Month is the Gospel Hour at oh, yeah. City Hall. What's in store for, for this month? Each Wednesday, we will have gospel concerts mm -hmm. at City Hall in the atrium, which are all free, okay. by the way, so we want to make sure that people know that right. they don't have to pay a thing. And come and enjoy the richness of the gospel uh, that's been set aside for African Americans. Now, this year, we have a number of uh, different organizations that are going to participate in that, mm -hmm. especially SOTA, which is the School of the oh, Arts, yes, yes. and uh, uh, church Con uh, uh, choirs as well, so people are really going to enjoy themselves when they hear mm -hmm. the richness of this gospel. Yeah, and bring your lunch? You can bring your okay. lunch and you can also purchase it at City Hall. We have oh, a excellent. very nice cafeteria where folks can buy their lunch. Good to know. <laughs> and the Eastman School of Music will also be a guest this year. And on and Valentine's Day, yes, right? okay. and on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day we won't be having um, a concert. That day, okay. we'll have be lunch with your sweetheart. <laughs> okay, and okay, that's right. You'll be busy with that, Hazel. Um, and and while people are at City Hall, they can go check out the Link Gallery. Right, that's uh, one of the events that we start with is our art and jazz event. And unfortunately, uh, it, it'll pass by the time folks <laughs> see this presentation. Right. But it's we're going to still have the art the there, art and that art there. will be displayed in our right. link gallery throughout the month of mm -hmm. February. So folks can come down there and see what the different artists in the city mm -hmm. uh, of Rochester have provided to show what their talents are, mm -hmm. and they they'll be amazed by what they'll see down there. Excellent, and these mm -hmm. are all local artists. All local artists, mm -hmm. uh, children as well as adults, and we're going to have an award ceremony for uh, the best. Photo, uh, pictures that you know people paint and, and uh, present down there and they'll see that throughout the month. Wonderful. Why is it important for the committee to reach back into the community and recognize the artists uh, of Rochester? 
Because there's really not a lot of venues that they can present those mm. talents. And we want to provide that basis for them. We, we want to provide that opportunity for folks to uh, uh, be able to show others what they can do. The mm. one thing that I found out last year was that a lot of kids that came to City Hall, they never were at City Hall before. Mm. And this is a perfect opportunity for someone who's never been to City Hall to come down here and see what we have available. Right, and also free again. And it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, uh, another favorite of mine is the food tasting event. Is that happening again this year, and, and what's on the menu? The food tasting event is happening again this year. Mm -hmm. We are working in conjunction with STAR, okay. the Sisters Achieving Results. Sisters Together Achieving yeah, results. results, right. Yes. And they will be doing most of the work. Okay. And we will be assisting them mm -hmm. with that. What does that event look like? Where does that take place? It takes place in the atrium at City Hall. And we add, they ask a number of volunteers to prepare dishes that mm -hmm. represent our culture or mm -hmm. highlight our culture and experience. And it's free to the public. What are your favorite uh, tables to stop by, Lynn? Well, I'm always <laughs> at the uh, fried chicken table. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so black heritage storytelling carries mm. on uh, the important tradition of oral storytelling. The kids love this one. Um, is that also happening this year and where can people find that? This year it's going to be at the, I believe it's going to be at the... Edgerton, I think. Edgerton. Edgerton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or um, uh, is it Edgerton? It's going to be at Edgerton. Edgerton. We'll just okay. leave it at that. <laughs> but this year is because of uh, the event that we're all celebrating in the city of Rochester, which is the 200th anniversary yes. of Frederick Douglass' yes. birth, uh, they're going to have role play at mm. this uh, event for the okay. uh, community. And believe me, it's a treat. They're going to explore his uh, uh, birth, they're going to explore his life, and they're going to showcase everything about Fred Frederick Douglass mm -hmm. that a lot of folks probably didn't know about. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year it's going to be excellent. It's all going to be done by kids. Mm -hmm. Sounds very engaging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hazel, do you have a favorite event? Well, most of them are my favorites. <laughs> all um, of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like the gospel mm -hmm. events during the day because that kind of breaks up your day. It's it does. inspirational. It is. And um, the gala is our signature event, so mm -hmm. those are my two favorites. Excellent. And we will get to the gala. First, I want to talk about the Heritage Gospel Concert. Is that still happening? And this is one that's out outside of City Hall, right? Yes, this is one of the few events that we have outside of City Hall. This is over at First Genesis Baptist Church okay. on Hudson Avenue. And it's done by Acoma and Voices of Thunder, which mm -hmm. are two of the premier concert uh, choir groups in the city of Rochester, which help to support the, the uh, endeavors of the Black Heritage Committee. Mm -hmm. And it's always packed. So we right. advise everyone who's coming out to mm -hmm. hear this wonderful gospel music to get there early. Arrive early, for sure. And both of those groups provide scholarships for young right. people. That's exactly. wonderful. So speaking of scholarships, we're involving college students this year in the celebration. Um, what's happening with that? Uh, we'll have a number of college students coming out on a Saturday night. I believe it's February 17th. Okay. A number of the area local colleges. College, is that gospel choirs? Yes, gospel choirs okay. will be participating. Excellent. So mm -hmm. the gala, we have the youth gala and we have the grown-up gala. <laughs> yes. Um, when do those take place? The Youth Gala is going to be on February 3rd, I March believe. March I'm sorry, March 3rd. So going into March. So yeah, we're okay. into March. Great. Remember, our, <laughs> our celebrations are all throughout the year. So. Exactly. Uh, but this is uh, particularly set aside for the children to understand and, and view the same things that they mm -hmm. would do as adults. Mm -hmm. And the only difference between their gala and ours really is that theirs is free. You have to <laughs> register. And right. But it is free, mm -hmm. and the kids should find this a point to come out, dress right. up in their finest, and sit and enjoy the, the food and the network and mm -hmm. do all the things that we do at our event. I love seeing the pictures from that event. Oh, yeah. Hazel, Very tell nice. us about the gala. It sells out mostly yes. every year. Yes, it does. Right? It will be held on March 10th. Okay. And we have a few surprises for you all. Okay. And we will highlight the richness of 
the military history in mm -hmm. this community and folks that have given back to this community. We recognize four pioneers that are selected by the committee and um, we look forward to them and their families and other folks coming out to mm -hmm. learn more about the African American history and military. Mm -hmm. And I want to stress again, all of the events are free except for the except gala. For the gala, gala is a ticketed right. event. How are you able to, to have all of these events in the community for free? So much programming. We have some sponsors that help out with um, mm -hmm. donating food, especially for like the art and jazz. Mm -hmm. um, we have a number of sponsors. We work with other organizations sometime to help out to bring these um, programs to flourishing. So um, we just thank them for their support and Wonderful. we look forward mm -hmm. to continue working well, with we them. We are in the looking future. forward to yeah. it. Thank you guys so much for coming on today. Again, for more information on any or all of the events being hosted by the Black Heritage Committee, you can visit cityofrochester.gov slash BHM or call 585-428-9857.